to try to hit home the idea that the problems of racism and injustice and violence between people um, are not so far away that you know each of us including people right here in this region like myself have been touched by those things and so it's important to understand that um, the solutions start at home and that's one of the messages I wanted to get across. So one of the things you said is that we need to listen, we, we need to see with new eyes and listen with new ears. Uh, how do we take that away in our day today, this week, this month? Well, one of the things that I think many of us are aware of is sort of this global movement bringing attention to mindfulness right a lot of people are interested in meditation and in compassion which is a part of um, every great religion as i understand it and so i think through mindfulness we begin to realize that a lot of the thoughts that we have and judgments of ourselves and other people um, are just ideas right so if we sort of connect with that idea then maybe we can look at things through a different lens. And it starts with each of us individually, I think, you know, thinking about our lives in a different way, and then being able to, as Dr. Maya Angelou encouraged us to, realize that as humans, we all go through similar things, and we have more in common than we have um, that's different. But one of the things that I hope to um, exemplify you know in my own life is while it's important to have the courage to speak truth to power and to call things what they are for example to acknowledge that racism exists and that all of these injustices exist it's also meaningful when we realize that these problems are problems of the human family and I think that Leaders like Dr. King, obviously, um, Malcolm X, Maya Angelou, Paul Robeson, so many of our great leaders, um, that's what they really tried to teach towards the end of their lives. They tried to connect the struggle to the human rights struggle. And so that's what I wanted to try to do in some small way here, is just to remind everyone that um, even though we, might, we look different, we have different cultures, different lifestyles. We have core human experiences that we can use to connect to one another with. And like Dr. King said, we're, we're tied together with this um, you know, strand of, of destiny. And we have to remember that.